welcome to uh, Five on Five. Please welcome back Teddy Abrams, of course, the Brit Orchestra conductor and music director. Good to see you, sir. Great welcome to back. be here. Great hey. to be back in the Valley. Yeah, thanks for coming. So, season's coming quick, you know, and, and we got a lot to talk about. But, yeah. but family night, this is new. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, this is our first uh, family night with the full orchestra. We're super excited about it. So the whole idea is that the entire hill is for families, uh, uh, for kids, and we've programmed specifically for the entire family. And I'm really excited about this because it's two different pieces that both have narrators. So the orchestra is going to be playing pieces that tell a story. Uh, one of them is very famous. That's Peter and the Wolf. Everyone knows Peter and the Wolf. The instruments are the different animals in the story. Uh, and then there's another one by a composer who's living right now. It's called um, the, the Mountain That Loved a Bird. Both have a narrator, and we wanted to choose a very, very special narrator. So we got uh, one of our, our genuine celebrities that lives here in town is Bruce Campbell. Of course. And he is so excited to uh, narrate these two pieces with the orchestra. He's an incredible actor, a great character, uh, and he's super passionate about Brit. So I think this is a, a, an absolute not-to-miss show. Yeah, it's a fantastic get for Brit. It must be very exciting. Is, it, yes. is that exciting for, for the musicians to get to do something maybe traditionally very different from the classical stuff you guys normally do? Yeah, I mean, and our, our musicians are really big kind of community performers. They love bringing their music out to everyone, and many of them teach kids, many of them uh, do all kinds of school programs back at their hometown orchestra. Mm -hmm. So for us to do a serious family concert is a really big deal. It, it, it gives us access to a, an entire new audience, and we want to see families getting excited about Brit from an early age. We want to see kids up there enjoying the hill and making it their own. Yeah, that, that's a great point. Yeah, that a lot of them are teachers and everything. Okay, so Tuesday nights are new. You guys are adding Tuesday nights to this schedule. What can yeah. people expect? Tuesday nights are all about the community. So actually, the family night is the first uh, Tuesday performance. We've never done this before. We, we've added in concerts. So we've actually expanded the schedule. Now we have nine shows that the orchestra is playing. So it really will feel like a festival. Not quite to the extent of Coachella. That's not what we're going But, but <laughs> also different. not just about you know, one concert at a time. We want the hill to be alive with music all the time. So you're in Jacksonville. There's music going on. Uh, so each Tuesday during the festival, starting on July 23, uh, there's going to be a much more kind of community-oriented program. The Family Night is one of them. Mm -hmm. Another is a, a kind of community jam where we're doing this piece by Terry Riley called In C. It's a minimalist piece that's really designed uh, to kind of ha have a communal musical experience. It's fascinating. We're going to position musicians all over the hill oh, for that. Oh, yeah. And then the last one is our Big Pops Night, and that's all the music of uh, George Gershwin mm -hmm. uh, with one of the uh, uh, really incredible singers who sings this, this repertoire called uh, Morgan James, and she's sung with the orchestra in the past. So yeah. if you like Gershwin, I'm also going to be playing the Rhapsody in Blue, which is okay. many people's favorite composition. And I'm, so I'm going to play and uh, conduct, or at least try at the same time. <laughs> uh, so that should be a really fun one. And that's the last Tuesday of the uh, of, of the season. But nine that's shows total. It's a it's a pretty intense schedule. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. We're going to take a quick commercial break. No. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. We're going to hear with Teddy Abrams, Brit Orchestra conductor and music director. So just, just obviously we're previewing the season. You've got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Real quick, what, what is the schedule? What is the dates for all this? So the first concert is July 23, and we go all the way through uh, August 11. So okay. we're there for three weeks, and it's, it's a solid amount of, of music that we're making up there, plus mm -hmm. rehearsals, many of which are available for people to come and see. Uh, and uh, the, the whole idea is that come to Jacksonville, you're going to see the Brit Orchestra. Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic show. And, and I do want to ask you about smoke. It was, it was yes. obviously an issue last year, and we're all knocking on wood, crossing our fingers, doing everything we can, that it's not an issue this year on, on multiple levels. Uh, are you guys still going to use possibly North Medford as a backup in case smoke is an issue? Yes, we're really fortunate that we have that relationship with North Medford. So if there is smoke, we're going to go there and, and perform. It's a beautiful facility. But we're all uh, hoping that mm -hmm. we have kind of banded together here, the community, the government, the businesses, and Brit, of course, and uh, all of our friends in, uh, in this region to do everything we can, whether yeah. it's the you know, uh, policy, uh, the environment. We all have to pitch in to make sure we protect our beautiful valley here. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Brit experience is really supposed to be out there underneath the, the stars in one of the greatest venues, I think, to hear music. So mm -hmm. we're, we're going to be crossing our fingers and doing everything we can, too, uh, to make that happen. One of the blessings in disguise, if you will, from, from last year's, uh, I guess, you know, smoke, um, was you guys did a pub crawl. And this, obviously, everyone was amazed by this. Whether smoke is a problem or not, and again, knock on wood that it's not, are you guys... Could, will you consider doing another pub crawl? That's our plan. And we actually took the entire orchestra, uh, and we started, uh, uh, we, we were at the, the schoolhouse brew house in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. uh, we went from there to the Boomtown Saloon. By the time we got to the, the Bella Union, 
we were pretty much filled. I mean, we had 80 something musicians all playing Beethoven's Fifth Symphony inside these bars. It's amazing. And it was, the whole point was to, to be a, a gift of music to the community. Say, mm -hmm. we're all going through this smoke together. We are here to make music because that brings people together and it gives us access to something that's so much better and so much more powerful than just being inside and dealing with smoke all the time. So we realized it was a super fun thing to do. If you've never seen an orchestra before, maybe the best time to see one for the very first time is in a pub. <laughs> Date <laughs> to be determined. Date to be determined. Okay, yeah. well, we're going to have to be there for that, of course. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Thanks very much. Thank Excited you so much. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.